Thanks. Joining us now with their take on the political impact of all of this are conservative commentator Ann Coulter and Democratic Party strategist Tanya Acker. Good to have both of you with us this morning. So the last large U.S. combat brigade leaving Iraq, obviously there are still troops there, as we heard from the general talking about that as well. But this is happening two weeks ahead of President Obama's schedule, Anne. Is this perhaps a step forward for the administration, some more positive news coming out? Well... Iraq isn't really his war. That is George Bush's, and it's gone very well. Um, this was Afghanistan his deadline, is his war, <laughs> and that's not going so well. So you're not seeing any positive... I, I, no, I think he's been a disaster on foreign policy. I mean, there was a reason to concentrate on Iraq. Iraq uh, is good for regime change. The people are fairly educated. That is exactly the opposite in Afghanistan. You're dealing with peasants who are stoning a couple who elope. Um, turning that country into a democracy, I think, is a pipe dream, which is why with Bush, he went in, he knocked out the Taliban, left a few troops behind, but then turned the major war on terrorism into Iraq, a country that's good for the U.S. military, that is sitting on a lot of oil, that's in the middle of a crucial region of the world, what do we want to be in Afghanistan for? And instead, this president, purely out of political correctness, because he wanted to respond to the moveon.org cry out about, oh, Iraq, it's a war of convenience, whereas Afghanistan, it's a war of necessity. No, 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 no. Bush cared about national security. This guy cares about political, Obama cares about political correctness, and it's a big Tan mistake. Tanya, I hear you. I, hear, I can hear you in the background there. I know you want to jump in. Go ahead. <laughs> well, it's so funny because Anne's perspective is so completely ahistorical, and also it's, she seems to not have a very good grasp of American political science. Uh, Barack Obama is the president of the United States right now, which means that Iraq is his war. It also means Afghanistan, too, is his war, as it was George Bush's war when he first uh, directed that operation. I'd also remind Anne that Afghanistan is right, borders this country called Pakistan, and that's, there's a reason that we need to keep uh, that country and that region of the world stable. But all that aside, um, and, you know, putting some of that nonsense, uh, bracketing that for a moment, I think the general made a really good point. Uh, it is time now that we let the Iraqi people govern themselves. They need to rule themselves. And that, and that, uh, that military really needs to take responsibility for its own country's security. We're not gone. Uh, we're going to provide a very important and valuable training mechanism. But I definitely think this is a step in the right direction. Uh, there's been so much talk. It seems every day something new comes out about plans for, for a mosque and Islamic center near ground zero. Tanya, I'll let you kick this one off. We're hearing again from the president on this, saying he doesn't regret those comments. Is this the kind of thing that's going to go away, or is this starting to shape, in fact, the road to November elections? Well, you know, look, I think that there are a lot of partisans uh, who are going to try to turn this into an even nastier issue than it's become. But I think that we would all be wise to follow Ted Olson's lead, uh, George Bush's former solicitor general who lost his wife on 9-11, who said that the notion that in the United States of America we would deny people the right to have a, a religious edifice is simply, like, that's just not, it's not, it's unconscionable. And I, I think the president's doing the right thing. I think that smart Republicans, fair Republicans, fair people of all uh, of all political uh, persuasions uh, need to look at, are looking at this uh, in, a, in really as, as a constitutional issue and really as a freedom issue. It should not be this political uh, question right. that it's become. So it, it shouldn't be a political issue, though. Is it going to continue to be one as we head to November? Well, yeah. one person made it not only a political issue, but a national political issue, and that is President Obama, who wanted a standing ovation from a Muslim audience at a Ramadan dinner at the White House. So he comes out in favor of the mosque, and then as soon as he's not in front of a crowd that's going to give him a standing ovation for that, he's taken it back. I don't know what his position does is it go, now, does it but go he away, he's standing Does by. it go away, or does this continue through November Not before until we go. know what's going to happen to that mosque at ground zero, and I, I will say Tanya is absolutely giving the Democratic position. America, you want a mosque at ground zero, you vote for the Democrats. No, <laughs> no, I'm giving, I'm giving the American position, Anne. I'm giving the American position, because my to. Constitution says Ladies, that we have to leave it there. But, but there is much more to talk about in the months ahead. Don't, don't worry. Tanya Acker and Coulter, good to have both of you with us this morning.